What is up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the FIFA 17 Premier League transfer budget video. In this video I will show you all the 20 Premier League teams transfer budget and I will, I will also talk about the board expectations for each and every club. So really excited about this video. If you are excited for FIFA 17, smash the like button. The FIFA 17 demo could be out as early as later today or early tomorrow, depending on which uh, time zone are you in make sure to log on to your New Zealand account and keep checking the store every few hours and let's get right into it let me know what do you think about this transfer budget which clubs transfer budget should be higher which clubs should be lower and the first one is Arsenal who have a transfer budget on 96.06 million pounds their board expectations though are very very strict they have domestic success critical continental success critical brand exposure also critical financial very low and youth development medium so at arsenal you will be expected to deliver success straight away and the next one is a smaller club afc bournemouth they have a transfer budget of 27 0.05 million pounds their board expectations though are pretty low domestic basically all of them are low and the youth development is very low so I guess the at Bournemouth your main objective will be to stay in the Premier League and I'm actually surprised that they are not focusing on the youth development because I think in real life Bournemouth have uh, quite a few decent young players. The next one in the list is one of the newly promoted sides, Burnley. They have a transfer budget of 25.43 million pounds. And they're uh, also similar board expectations to Bournemouth. Uh, everything is low, the financial is medium. So at Burnley it will be very important to keep uh, the club financially stable. And of course the main objective at Burnley will be to stay in the Premier League. And I think these teams would be good for road to glory um, teams uh, because you won't be able, you won't be required to deliver a top four finish straight away so you uh, you have time to build the next one is another big club in the Premier League Chelsea 101.96 million pounds one of the highest transfer budgets in the Premier League I think it's the second highest in the Premier League on FIFA 17 career mode uh, and domestic success cri critical continental success critical as well brand exposure critical financial very low and youth development low so yeah Chelsea don't really develop youth players but you will be expected to deliver straight away at Chelsea the next club is Crystal Palace they have 29.6 million pounds in the transfer budget on FIFA 17 career mode domestic success medium board expectations continental success and brand exposure is low financial is medium and youth development is very low so again at Crystal Palace maybe it will be expected of you to finish mid table maybe a top 10 finish but you can build uh, from there if you want to choose them the next club is Everton they have a 45.27 million pound transfer budget I think that's quite realistic but this time domestic success is high on the board expectations continental success is medium brand exposure also medium sorry also high financial and youth development expectations are low so at Everton you will be expected to finish maybe in the top six in the Premier League and build from there so very interesting if you are choosing Everton as your career mode team the next club is a newly promoted side Hull City with a 26.19 million pounds transfer budget very low continental and domestic success expectations the brand exposure and the financial expectations are medium and youth development is low so at Hull City you are expected to build your brand as a club uh, I guess uh, signing maybe some players from uh, the Asia market or something like that which will be very interesting Leicester City the Premier League current Premier League champions and they have 45.39 million pounds on the transfer budget on FIFA 70 career mode domestic success medium continental success medium so again the top 10 finish I think that's what Leicester wants um, brand exposure low financial 
expectations very low, youth development is medium. So at Leicester City you are expected to develop and play youth academy players straight away. And then of course my favorite team, Liverpool, with a 65.83 million pounds transfer budget. Really excited to see what I can do with this budget. Domestic success is critical at Liverpool, continental success high, brand exposure also critical and youth development is low so this will be very interesting how i can do with liverpool delivering the champions league place straight away and of course i will try to uh, develop a side who can challenge for the title and then i think the third highest transfer budget for manchester city 100.98 million pounds so almost 101 million sorry i couldn't find a png image of their newest badge but um domestic continental success expectations are critical brand exposure also critical and youth development is low so you will be expected to deliver the premier league title straight away and try and get to the champions league final in two or three seasons i believe so similar to the next big club which is manchester united at man united you will be expected again to develop uh, uh, youth players at a medium board expectations but domestic continental success critical expectations brand exposure also critical but you will have 122.13 million pounds in the bank which is just outrageous financial expectations very low so at Man United you will be expected to win the Premier League title straight away and also to develop young players so it would be a good challenge to choose Manchester United if you want to do so the third newly promoted side Middlesbrough have a transfer budget of 26.62 million pounds domestic and continental success very low expectations so you are expected just to stay up at Middlesbrough in the first season brand exposure medium youth development is high and I think these expectations will change once you develop the club and uh, Middlesbrough actually have uh, high board expectations for youth development which means that you must you must start or play youth players straight away or maybe as a substitutes and you must uh, promote youth player youth academy players straight away and give them contracts so at Middlesbrough it's vital that you set up a good youth academy at the start otherwise you could get fired the next club is Southampton 38.87 million pounds in the transfer budget uh, domestic and continental success medium expectations brand exposure also medium and again youth development is high Southampton ever um, world famous youth academy and that's replicated in the game and I really like that from EA that they replicated this that you basically have to develop your young players and play them straight away the next club is actually uh, Tottenham and you will have a 68.92 million pounds transfer budget Tottenham actually have a higher transfer budget than Liverpool which I found interesting domestic success high continental success high brand exposure high expectations youth development also high expectations so at Tottenham you are expected to deliver a top four finish straight away and develop two three maybe four youth academy players and play them regularly so that will be a very very good challenge on career mode the next club is a Stoke City who have a 36.42 million pound transfer budget and again domestic continental success medium brand exposure medium so a top 10 finish youth development is very low so if you are not too keen to develop young players then Stoke City could be your side because they have a pretty decent transfer budget and Sunderland who are always flirting with relegation 29.09 transfer budget 29.09 million pounds domestic and continental success low so you just need to stay up at the in the Premier League at Sunderland brand exposure medium financial expectations medium youth development low 32.25 million pounds in this is the transfer budget of my second favorite club in the Premier League Swansea City their domestic success expectations are medium so a top 10 finish is required at Swansea continental success brand exposure low financial medium and youth development also medium at Swansea they like to develop young players and that's what you are required to do 
on FIFA 17 career mode and the next club is Watford 26.51 million pounds in the transfer budget Domestic success very low, but continental success is low, which I found it quite interesting that you need to stay up at Watford, but what is continental success low means? Maybe qualify for Europe in three seasons or something like that. Brand exposure medium, expectations, youth development very low. So at Watford you also don't have a lot of money to play around with, but you know, you have a quite young squad to develop. West Brom 29.09 million pounds uh, transfer budget and uh, uh, very low expectations in terms of domestic success, continental success, only low expectations, brand exposure, financial, medium expectations, youth development, medium expectations. So at West Brom you are required to develop some young players and West Ham United have a whopping 63.75 million pounds transfer budget and the domestic success is high which means that you need to qualify for Europe you need to get into the Champions League potentially with West Ham United continental success, success is medium so you need to go far in the Europa League or the Champions League brand exposure high so you need to develop your brand at West Ham with the, and with the new Olympic Stadium West Ham will be a very attractive proposition on FIFA 17 career mode so if you want to maybe win the Premier League title with a, not a usual big club then West Ham is your we should be your choice in the Premier League youth development medium because they have a, a quite a big transfer budget and yeah that is the last club in the list in this FIFA 17 transfer budget video for FIFA 17 career mode really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did thanks for watching smash the like button see you later guys goodbye